Now to the latest on a battle for House Speaker. Jim Jordan failing to secure enough votes on his second try. Our senior congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, is tracking this on Capitol Hill. Good morning, Rachel. Michael, good morning. Day 16, no Speaker of the House, and Congressman Jim Jordan is losing even more ground. Now, some of those Republican holdouts say they are facing threats, a sign of just how hostile this fight has become. This morning, Congressman Jim Jordan facing growing opposition after Republicans blocked his bid for speaker again. A speaker has not been elected. This time, he lost even more support. 22 Republicans opposed on the second ballot. He could only afford to lose four. So to be clear, you're staying in this race. Yep. You're not considering dropping out. Nope. Jordan ready to fight, but some Republicans not budging. This is not give me this or else. This is a united front that has collectively decided that he's not the best choice for Speaker of the House. Those holdouts facing increasing pressure. Congressman Don Bacon says he's been flooded with calls, his wife even hit with menacing messages. My wife's been getting anonymous texts and anonymous phone calls trying to compel her to force me to change my vote, which is wrong. It's crossing, the, crossing boundaries. Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks revealed she's receiving credible death threats and a barrage of threatening calls after withdrawing her support for Jordan. With the House still paralyzed, even some of Jordan's supporters say it may be time to start considering other options. The world is burning, and I don't think many people we represent uh, want us spending days upon days uh, deciding uh, who sits in the chair. One of those options, giving the temporary speaker, Congressman Patrick McHenry, more power so the House can get back to work. McHenry, not interested. I'm going to the floor to vote for Jim Gordon. And Jordan not giving in. And we proved we can get over 200 people to support us. We just got to get a few more. The House is set to reconvene in just a few hours. Overnight, Congressman Jim Jordan condemning those threats against his colleagues, insisting it's imperative for Republicans to come together, George. Okay, Rachel, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.